Hello everyone, Dr. Stevens here. So in this video, I'll be teaching you the simplest way to remember all the hormones released by the pituitary gland. So as you know, pituitary gland is also known as the master gland. Why is it known as the master gland? Firstly, because they can release the most hormones in our body. And secondly, some hormones that are released by the pituitary gland can also control other endocrine glands to release their respective hormones. So obviously, a lot of students find it difficult to remember all the hormones in the pituitary gland. Let me teach you in a simplified manner. So let's move on. you must understand that the pituitary gland is divided into two parts, the anterior segment as well as the posterior segment. Anterior simply means front and posterior simply means at the back. So the one at the back or posterior pituitary gland is a smaller compartment, okay? And therefore, it only secretes two hormones, namely the antidiuretic hormone, bracket ADH, and oxytocin. The anterior pituitary gland, on the other hand, is a larger compartment and it secretes more hormones than the posterior segment. Okay? So the easy way to remember it is remember the mnemonic flat top. F-L-A-G-T-O-P. F stands for follicle stimulating hormone, FSH. L stands for luteinizing hormone, LH. A stands for adrenocorticotropic hormone, ACTH. And G stands for growth hormone. T stands for thyroid stimulating hormone. O means zero. Zero means nothing. P means prolactin. In this video, I'll be just teaching you the way to remember the hormones in the anterior as well as posterior pituitary gland, but I will not go into details of all these hormones. In further videos, I'll be teaching you individually each and every single function of all these hormones, okay, and their site of action. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, do subscribe to my channel and like the page. Thank you so much. I'm Dr. Stephen Lee.